Hi, it's Corrine. Thanks for stopping by. Today I have a card from start to finish to share with you using a beautiful di digital image. And here's another photo. That's the finished card. Here's another photo. I did color this twice. Such a fun image to color. I have a few more photos at the very end. And I'm using my Copic markers to color this in. I'll be sure to list all the colors used in the top left hand corner. And I just recently found this artist, this digital stamp company. It's called The Paper Shelter. I purchased a few of her stamps and I'm in love with them. So I'll be sure to link that down in the description box if you're interested. I do print them out from an inkjet printer. I have no problem with the Copics running using an inkjet. And I like using digital stamps because you can size them to whatever size that you want to work with. Um, you can also, if you have a digital die cutting machine, I use a Silhouette Cameo. You can use a pick scan mat and scan it into your computer and have your Cameo cut the image out as well as if it were a die cut. So I will let you sit back and enjoy the coloring. I do usually color from light to dark back to, to the light, blending back out. There are a few instances like on her dress that I and her hair as well that I started out with a base color of the lightest color added in my darkest color and then worked my way back out so you'll see that throughout the process and I'll be back in just a moment Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be, in the great outdoor, forever free. Forever free 
So I wanted to finish up her little dress with some Wink of Stella. I'm using the clear glitter brush. I'm going to add that to the little frill at the bottom of her dress and then also her bow and the piece in her hair as well. It gives it just a little bit of shimmer. This image was so much fun to color. I can see that I'll be using this one again. The Hello Beautiful, by the way, is just a sentiment that I had in my stash that I printed out myself. It did not come with the digital stamp. So I'm using a tonic die. This is the Layering Mix Scallop Straight Rectangle dies. You get 14 different dies with them. They come with straight and rectangles. I, or excuse me, scallop. And I'm using this gorgeous peach paper that matches perfectly with her dress. So I'm using the just the rectangle piece to cut my image out. I'm going to get that straight by using my T-square ruler. And then I'll tape it down in place when I run it through my Sizzix Big Shot machine. And I've already cut out that black and white striped paper from the Pink Paisley C'est La Vie collection using one of the scallop borders that come in that same collection. I'm using here a Spellbinders A2 Curved Borders one die, and this one has a curved border, but it also has a stitching on one side as well. So I'm, I decided I wanted to give that piece some dimension. So instead of adding a bunch of foam squares, I'm going to cut out the same shape from some lightweight chipboard. It's kind of like cereal box weight. And I'm going to cut out two pieces using the exact same dies. That way I can ensure that it's going to fit behind my piece perfectly. So I'll cut two of those out. And then the next piece, instead of using the curved die that has the stitching, there's a curved die without the stitching. There's no need for the stitching since you won't see it. So I'm just going to use the regular curved die on the chipboard. And then this way it's going to ensure that my piece is dimensional across the entire image. I don't have to worry about it any parts dipping down of in the card. So I pulled out my scissors just in case I needed to cut the ends off. I did need to cut one of the ends and now they fit perfectly behind my image piece. I'm going to use some Beacon Fabri-Tac to adhere the two pieces together. And now I'm kind of working backwards. I'm measuring that piece so I can see what size I need this peach mat to be. And I pulled out my tonic guillotine cutter. This peach paper, I believe, like I said, it's by Basil. It's a perfect match to her dress. I found that after I colored it. So my card base is going to be on some gray cardstock. My card base is six by four and three quarters, and I've just gone down approximately half inch on all the mat sizes. So that peach paper is five and three quarters by four and five eighths. The black and white is five and a half by four and three eighths. And the image piece is five and a quarter by four. And I'm using Many Everyday Messages by Hero Arts. It's got a lot of great sentiments on it. And just put that in my Misty so I can make sure to get it straight because I've never used this one before so I knew I was gonna need to stamp it more than once. I used some Hero Arts, I believe it was the charcoal gray, so it matched that Hello Beautiful stamp that's on there. And now I'm just going to cut that out to get a straight line. I'm just kind of setting everything out, seeing if I'm happy with it. And as you can see, I also cut a bow using a die cut that I had in my stash. And now to cut my card base, I'm going to cut it out of the gray that matches the, the um, sentiment on the front. So I'm scoring that in half. Again, it's going to be six by four and three quarters. I'm giving it a good crease with my bone folder. And now I'm going to start layering everything. I either use my ATG tape runner, but I had my Fabri-Tac right there, so I just used that to layer all my pieces. It does give you a minute to kind of move it around too to make sure you have it perfectly straight, and then that way it dries pretty quickly as well. 
So as you can see, that's a perfect fit, that chipboard right behind to give my card just a, the slightest bit of dimension. So I was looking at it and I knew I wanted some sort of lace. I had this perfect frill lace ruffle um, from Wild Orchid Crafts, again, using my Beacon Fabri-Tac. I normally would use my hot glue, but I didn't have my hot glue heated up. So I just used the Beacon Fabri-Tac and set a block on it, or actually I set the paper pad on it and let it dry for about 10 minutes. Once that was dry, it does stick up where the ruffle is, so I needed to add a little bit more of that same chipboard behind it so it sat evenly on my black and white mat. So I added two pieces on that, and then that way it sat perfectly on the front of my card. Going to adhere that down. I decided not to cut that banner piece down. I was thinking I might cut it, but I wanted to leave it across my card. And now I'll add my bow to it. And now I'm adding a little resin bow using some E6000 and a little bit of hot glue. The hot glue will adhere immediately and it'll give the E6000 a little time to dry. And once that dries, that will not come off. I did also quickly make a matching gray envelope with my We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. If you've not used this, I love it. I keep it on my desk so I can right away make a, an envelope with my card. That way, when I'm ready to send my card, it's just ready to go. I don't have to worry about doing that. That's all there was to it. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I really appreciate you stopping by and stay tuned for the photos. Like I said, I, I showed at the beginning, I did color this image one other time, so I'll show a photo of that. Have a great day.